Hi there and welcome back to Baldur's Gate. I'm Baron. Let's talk to Vincenzo the innkeeper. Never had rats. No sorry. Hello to you and a good day. I am Vincenzo and I offer you all the service of me humble little inn. There'll be a lot of things to be said about your inn, Vince. Oh, that's Willow the Stable Boy. But humble ain't the one I would be picking, I right? Hush boy. And keep calling me Vince and I'll have you strapped over a lock. The name's Vincenzo. That's a lot of what? That's a lot of rot. Yeah, here's that name from a Zambian trader, and suddenly you're putting on airs. Pfft. Never mind, boy. He's an ignorant bloat. I took in out of pity. A simpleton who doesn't know his place. Is there aught I can do for you, my good lords? What do you know about the killings around here? <coughs> ah, Vincenzo knows the truth. My family has been in this here has been in this here area for a long, long time. And the tales of the witch Uma have been passed down they have. You're not gonna go into that rot again, are you? Silence boy, perhaps I should give you to the witch instead as an offering, eh? Leave you out on the doorstep with a lace of garlic tied around your neck? Well, I thought that shut your trap. Now then, my lord. I can tell you all about the witch Uma, a tale sure to curl your ears if you care to hear it. Go ahead, I've got the time. Like I said, my family has been around these parts for a long time. We were here back when the witch herself plagued these lands over 700 years ago. Uma was a wicked one, no one ever saw her expect, except when she came down from the hills to steal some odd, unfortunate soul, shepherds, babes, anyone who weren't careful. She tortured them, you could hear their cries during the night. People tried to find her, but only the victims' bodies would turn up, mutilated into dead. Don't know why they just didn't kill her. Cause he couldn't find her, you stupid boy. Were you not listening? And besides, she were a powerful witch with plenty of magics for any fight. Strange thing is, my lord, Uma just vanished one day. Maybe she were killed, maybe not. But every century or so, it is said she comes back to the hills. Haha, <laughs> this is what gets right funny, your story. I'm warning you, boy, you'll be out on your ass faster than you can blink if you keep this up. Ahem, <clears throat> as I said, every century or so, she comes again. People disappear, tortured in the hills. And only sometimes are the bodies found. Once Uma sated herself on blood, she returns to whence she came. This is just like them other times, people forget so easily. This the witch I tells you. Has nobody tried to find a switch in recent years? Well, there was a group of mages some years back who came, young ones, apprentices I gathered, two fellas and a young lass, sure enough. They were sent by their masters to look into the Uma witch, or so they said, nice enough group, but were obvious they expected nothing. Aye, true enough, them three went into the hills and they were was never found again, except for the last journal, I found those myself out in the woods. More victims of Uma herself, yeah, like the Blair Witch Project. Uh, was this game released before the movie or afterwards? I kind of get the feeling the movie is younger. Oh well, that's just me uh, thinking about stuff. More victims of Uma herself, sure as daylight. You can read it in the last journal, sure enough. Do you think I might be able to take a look at this journal? Ah, you can. I had a copy or two done by a scribe friend of mine some months back. You can have one if he likes. A copy or two? More like you got a whole storeroom full of copies of that journal, you bleeding banana. Well, so if I have, so what if I have? This is a good story, more or less. Make me a bloody rich, make me bloody rich one day, and then where will you be, you little rug rat? More and like you wrote the journal yourself, I'd wager. I did nay say I did nay such thing. Here you go, my lord. Use it as you will, but beware the witch if you goes into the hills. She's not sated yet. Not by a long shot. Okay. Well, where's my journal? Here. Yeah. The Humor Witch Project Journal. So okay, okay, I get it now. The the movie was earlier. 
This journal seems to be that of an apprentice mage telling the tale of her expedition into the Yuma Hills with two other apprentices in the search for evidence of the fabled witch. Is that movie that old already? Dang it, how time flies. The tale is hard to believe but seems to relate the group's horror at getting lost and being hounded by an unseen predator during the nights. The script is in a panicky feminine hand and the last page can barely be made out as follows. Sorry to Josh Joshua's mother. I'm sorry about what happened to Mik Michaelus. There's something out here with us. We thought it to be peasants, but peasants ain't this clever. Joshelus says it is the witch. I hear her when I sleep. I don't want to sleep. I don't want to sleep. I don't want... The journal ends here. Okay... Hmm... I never saw that movie actually. Uh, I'm not into that kind of stuff. Never had rats. No, sorry. What do you have then? We could rest here. That's all. What do you have to add? Unless you got yourself a horse written under all that their army, you should be talking to Vince and not me, I. Hmm. Yeah. Although I would love to have horses. Horses are fun. <laughs> yeah, he has lots of those <laughs> journals. I see that. Oh, dang it. Wow. That's a really. That's a truckload. Oh, I take that though. <laughs> Nothing else hit. Okay. Who has the antidotes anyway? Nobody actually. Hmm. I guess Ari is going to carry the potions. You're going to carry the arrows. Ah, first I'm using off all those non-magical arrows and then I'm using the magical ones. Okay. What is my task? There's a door. How about you open that? That would be dandy. A sleeping woman. What do you need? Lead the foot and all that. Let's save. Oh. That's not half bad. How funny is that? There's a trap. <laughs> and she just watched uh, Joshimo, uh, you know, getting hit by the trap. She is so nice. Oh, why she's turning her back on us? That's cool, though. When I see it, I can dance on the head of a pin as well. So, would you get hostile now? Apparently not. Oh, that's Joanna. Let's talk yes, to her. Yes, it shall be. Well met and welcome. You look like the decent sort who can hold a sword. Why don't you go and slaughter those ogres and save us a lot of trouble? Ah, uh, well, let's talk I'm to them first. Lead the foot and all that. Who are you? Have a look at my a book merchant. What is my task? Consider it done. Condition. Well. You Sorry, like sort of ain't got much in the way of tomes today. Been real slow here, yeah, sus. I shipped most of my stock to Elfgat I ain't talked to anyone in weeks, actually. Business been that bad because of the nasty events around here recently? Oh, that it has. Though there have been quite a few old books turn up around here to make it worthwhile. Nothing starting, but I get by. Enjoy your stay as best as you can under the circumstances. I thought you could sell me something. I oh. trust you'll find them all in oh. satisfactory condition. What do you need? Yoshimo is willing. Wait, that's the exit. Um. On my honor, I will do my best. No shit. So, yeah, that's a wand of monster summoning, I guess. No fear. Useless. Come closer. Thank 
you. So the wand of fear goes to you. That goes in here. The spell goes to me. I change the difficulty. I already have it. You already have it too. Fine then. Put it in here. And go up again. Bye bye. Have you have you ever heard of my people? The Avariel? The winged elves? Very little. I thought they were all gone. Most of us were, according to what I remember my mother telling me, killed by the dragons before the first flowering, but some of us still survive in isolated places. My own people live high in the mountains to the far south, in a place called Fenyadale, separated from contact with others. It w is, was, a grand and majestic place. My memory is dim, but whenever the thought of it crosses my mind, my eyes still blur with tears. Tell me more of your people, Ariel. Ari, not Ariel. She's not a mermaid. She's a winged elf. Sounds the wings. Our, our homes were open places of marble pillars and vistas from which you could watch the entire mountain range below. I, I guess you were not afraid of heights, were you? There was no place you could not spread your wings. Oh, sore subject. We cherished the wind and the rains. We breathed in life, Hevicha Blomi, and lived in peace with each other. There were distinct societies among us, as I remember. There were great aerial warriors who defended us, possessing glass weapons that radiated in the sunlight. And my own class pursued art and knowledge, building the great buildings and filling them with glorious wonders. It... it was... I'm sorry, Hebuja Blume. I can speak of it no longer. I am suddenly homesick, as silly as that seems. I miss so much and it makes me ache. I suppose I must seem very foolish to you. No, not really. Just homesick and alone. Yes. But you're not alone. You're part of the party now. She'll never be alone. Katya. You're a stranger. Yes, that is right. Hello, sir. Who might you be? My name is Katya. I came here with me, Ma, and part of the bad people who are killing everybody. When I grow up, though, I'm gonna be a mighty warrior and leave this place for good. What do you know about these bad people? Ma and Pa says I'm just telling stories, but I'm not. It's true, and I really saw it. I was bringing the cows home a couple of weeks ago, but I was bringing them through the path in the woods because it's faster, even though Ma doesn't like it when I go through there. But I pass this by the ranger's cabin. Mirella's always been real nice to me. She gives me candies that uh, she says she makes out of tree sap, and she took me fishing once too. When I passed by it though I saw this big black shadow coming out of her cabin and it was and it was leaving a big trail of red stuff which looked like blood. It was so big and scary it looked like a wolf monster. I was so scared for Morella so I went and told me Ma and Pa but they didn't believe me and told me to stop telling stories. But it, it's really true sir, honest. If you went to the cabin I bet you'd find something. It's just to the west of the village, out of the valley. Nobody wants to go out there now, because they're all scared. But I know I saw something, so... We will check that out, don't worry. What do we have here? Dale the Herder. Gruz the Herder. Margie and Etta. Top of the day to you. Aye, is there something you want? Who are you? Well, the name's Dale. I do some herding out in the fields with the cows and such with me wife here and me kids. Came into the village, just ain't safe anymore out there. I noticed two other herders who vanished. And the farmers ain't safe neither. Farmer Jacob and his wife were both slaughtered and then their bodies disappeared. Terrible things all. What can you tell me about these killings? Well, it's them ogres, sure enough. You get monsters in the area, you get killings in the area. Your wife thinks it's the wolves, but that's just foolish talk. Wolves would go after the cows, right? And we've had no more killing of the cows than we've had since the wolves showed up a couple years back. P 
people get hysterical at day does. Crew is there, babbles on about that witch and me daughter Katie is no better with her stories. You should hear her, ha. Huh? It's the ogres and they all come and finish us all off once they've picked us clean to small enough numbers. We should be fleeing as soon as we can through enough. You just watch yourself round here. Them ogres be the death of all of us. They will. Okay, they say it's the ogres. Well, let's check Minister Lloyd's home. I didn't check that. <coughs> Where's the entrance? Oh, there's the entrance. In we go. Um, Very well. Could I take a look at that? Would you be hostile if I took it? No. Great. Oh. You should take you a look at You require my counsel, yes? You're right behind me, right? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Not even locked. Hmm, that's a potion of strength. It raises the strength to 18. Nobody needs it. What do you require? Minister Lloyd? Mistress Ina. Are you the Dun mayor? Um, hello. I don't recognize you. You must be new to Imnisvale. Is there something I can help you with? I saw your speech outside of the village. You in need of an adventurer? Yes, we are. Blessed Lathander has delivered us. Oh my lord, you have no idea of the dire straits my little village is in. Will you help us then? I think I'd like to know more about what's going on first. We've had a run of killings and disappearances here as of late. People murdered in their beds, their bodies disappearing, bodies found with the skins inside out. Ugh. Normally, would we turn to our local ranger protector to aid us in this time like this, but our ranger Morella has vanished. Several men went to a cabin southwest of the village and they found no sign of her. It is like, it's not like her to ab be absent for so long, I, I fear the worst. Soon after, shepherds and farmers from the outlying holes began disappearing. People heard strange noises at night and we have no ranger to turn to. Everyone's frightened, but they're scared to leave as well else they get caught out in the wilderness by whatever has been doing the killing. And of course everyone has ideas on what's behind all of this. It's the ogres, my husband, you know it is. Um, uh, my wife, Ina. And yes, many people think it's that group of ogres who moved into the air just before the killings began. Likely is too. They're in the hills, too close to the village, I say. Yes, you can find them in the hills a bit north of here. Of course, other think it's a pack of very large wolves that's been ranging in the hills for some years. And still others claim Uma herself, the great witch of the hills, uh, has returned. Legend has it she was responsible for deaths much like these ones. Fah, that's just old legends. Uma has been gone for over 500 years, my husband. Yes, true. I suppose I should warn you. I've already hired the famous knight, Mazzy Fenton, and her troop, but they haven't been back. If wolves were shadows and doing this... They'd have to be terribly evil. Dire wolves, perhaps. I I don't think ogres would do this, but I'm not sure. This all sounds quite ominous. Wolves? Ogres? Witches? Oh my! This is too much for Minsk's poor head to comprehend. Which of these are evil? The edge of my sword shall find the truth? <laughs> okay. To be honest, I think you should check on the ogres and their fellows before chasing after legends and such, so will you, will you help us? I'm saving... No. Why do I have to say that to everybody? That's that's my business, not theirs. I will make an attempt, yes. Oh, most excellent. Please, my lord, go to Marcella's cabin and find where she has gone. My, my men are too frightened to go that far from the village. Her cabin is west of the village in the valley. It it should not be hard to find. There are other older cabins in the hell hills, abandoned for many years. Or go north from here to the river and find that... Maldov and his beasts. 
I have little doubt that they are responsible for all of this, but we must be sure. I am relieved that you've decided to help us. You have the run of the village, my lord. If you need anything else, do not hesitate to come to me. Oh, most glorious day. One step closer, we come to being heroes. Yes, indeed. Even little Boo first stands on end from his anticipation. Yeah, well, I'm really yes. glad the hamster approves. Let's get out of here. I, I don't really know whether we can do that quest now. First, I, I just want to find that guy here that we were sent to find. As you ask. Well, we can't go to that spot, can we? Oh, well, we will explore the area. And I hope that I find that Valgia guy. And then we will return to Askatla for now. And of course, we will deal with the whole thing of Uma Hills and the vanishing of people. And who the hell are you? Wow, an adventurer. Er, uh, sir, my name is Dearbird, and me and my friends here want to be adventurous like you, real strong and powerful like. Yeah, I want to be a ranger and protect the village. I want to be a great warrior like me dad. I knows we can, but everyone says we are too young and all. Bull, that's what I says to dad. Since, since you're already an adventurer and all, sir, I was hoping, I was hoping you might maybe buy some swords for us, some bastard swords? And some ale, Dearbird, don't forget the ale. Yeah. We want to be real men. Er, uh, salts and some ale then. If if we given you if we give you the money, sir, would you buy us some? <laughs> You're gonna probably gonna cut yourself. Who am I to deny the young? I'll get you your salts and the ale if that's what you wish. Great, geez, thanks, sir. You are the greatest. Here, here's the gold we've saved. Get us three bastard swords, I guess, and a keg of Valor's ale from Min Minling. Yeah, yeah, I'm so excited. We get 200 gold. Yay. Okay, so let's return to that spot here. There, that's where the merchants were in. Min Minling, I remember that one. I didn't know what to do with the ale, now I know. Wait, who are you? Helen's Fielding. How come, how, why are you outside now? Oh, because it's day probably. Useful gadgets I have. Yes, I, I hope do. so. So I want ale? Do you have bastard swords? No. Fine, I'll just take the ale. Do you have swords? You'll find no better prices in arm. I guarantee it. No. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Bastard swords, yeah. Three pieces. Now this will be fun. <laughs> okay, guess what I have, boys. I guess I have to rescue them. So, have you got our stuff? Yes, I got your keg of ale and your salts here. Bailo ale and our best salts. Wow, you are the best sir. Thanks. Dips on the ale. <laughs> 2000 XP. I want to hold my sword. Let's go. Woohoo! Fine. They teleport out. Apparently, they were mages. Uh, how could they use swords then? This is second edition AD&D rules. They're not supposed to have swords. Oh well. Yeah, I hope <laughs> that won't come back and bite us in the butt. Jab. Weather's been lousy lately. Hmm, fine thing us all fleeing into the village from our farms for all the good it'll do to us. Don't know how you fools can wander around and all your metal get up in this heat. Uh, <laughs> uh, just the price of being an adventurer, my good man. Adventures, are you? Yeah, I'll give you an adventure. You won't for soon forget. For a few golders, mind you. Gold as it is? Will ten gold pieces be enough for you? Ten golders? Nay, metalhead. This one's worth at least thirty. You'd think I was buying iron. Will twenty gold pieces satisfy your penny lust, old man? Hehe, <laughs> sure. You see those folks in town with all the chickens? This is the farmer Hendrik and his wife, fled here from their lands just like I have. 
His daughter was a tomfool, tin head adventurer type just like you. Died young just this past season. You still with me? Good. Then I won't have to repeat myself. Not long after she died, a bunch of other tin heads came looking for her. Said she had something of theirs. Yeah. Old Hendrik just took him outside and pointed to her grave mark and told him to get the hell off his land because they had something of his too. So that night I heard a ruckus in the hen house, looked out of the windows and there he was, trying to stuff something down the gullet of one of them chickens to keep out uh, he keeps out back. Draw your own conclusions, friend, but I'm thinking there's something a tin head like yourself might like buried deep in the gizzards of one of them cluckers, eh? If you can think of another reason they'd fled to the town with their chickens and nothing else, I'd be glad to hear it. Now clear off for your bake in what? For your bake in them their ovens of honor you got on ya. Okay. An oven of honor, yeah. It's called armor. It protects from blows. It is good to have. It's maybe somewhat warm. Actually I'm a mage, I have a rope, so it's not that bad. But yeah, Minsk and Jahira. Chickens. Lots of chickens. The chickens are supposed to have something? Could we pickpocket the chickens? Where shall I display my skill and expertise? Very well. Hiya. The chickens are hostile now. Ha, <laughs> okay. Um, well, let's not pickpocket the chicken then. Let's just talk to the guy. Who are you? Earl and Hendrik. I have be. no time for to talk to you now. We're just good folk fled from the outer farmland, stranger. We ask nothing of you other than you leave us be. How much are you asking for the chickens? I'll buy them off you. They are not for sale. I'm only interested in one chicken, truly. A chicken that swallowed something quite valuable. Ah, suppose it's best not to be hanging on to it any longer. Eventually someone will come and take it from us. What what can you pay me for it, my lord? One hundred gold pieces, more than fair, I'm sure. Aye, aye, this is more than fair. This will pay for a fine headstone for our daughter and more. A better tribute than a hidden gem in a chicken. Take it then. You've been more unkind. What's in that chicken? No, that's what in that chicken? Yeah, what was in the chicken now? A bell jury. Okay, I guess that's somewhat important. We will not sell it. Yes. And they are gone now. Okay. Let's move on then. I don't really know where we have to go. I guess we just explore the whole area. Oh, there's an exit route. But there's nothing new, okay. So we, someone actually has to point us, you know, into the right direction Consider of the done. new locations on our map. And then we can actually visit them. It's not like in Baldur's Gate 1. Well, most of the locations were already written on the map. Or at least if you, you know, visited an exit grid, then you saw the location. Wait a second, what's that? Oh, that's a moose, that's okay. It's not a bear. Yeah, if I... If I checked the next exit, then I saw what was next in that direction. It's not going to work like that anymore. But that's cool. Wait, what's that? Is that a cabin? Yeah, apparently. Where's the entrance? See no door here. Can't be true. Okay. That's the edge of the map. It's 
gotta be a door here somewhere. Maybe on the other side? How do I get to that? I probably have to approach the whole thing from that direction here. That's really weird though. But I'm hitting tab right now and it doesn't highlight anything. So I guess that means there is nothing. Fine. Be like that. It won't save you. I will find you do eventually. You know that. Yeah, don't use missile weapons in close combat. Enemies will receive a plus 4 attack bonus if you don't have a melee weapon equipped. <coughs> it's a bear. It attacks the groundhog. Save the groundhog! Fear is for those who have confidence. <coughs> Maybe groundhog day, you never know. Oh well, but I guess we'll take a break here and continue the next video. So thank you very much for watching and see you soon. Bye.